Is that how I get you to listen? Huh? I talk like the pastor in the church. Huh? Is that what I got to do? Huh? To get you the truth of the Bible? Huh? Do I need an organ out here? Huh? Do I need an organ out here to get you to listen to the words of the Lord? Huh? This is the truth, man. We are not here to play no games. And this message is for blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Not everyone. No. God does not love everyone, okay? If you're not black, Hispanic, or Native American, you will be a slave in the kingdom of heaven for rape, robbery, and murder of the whole planet Earth. Not because of what you look like. You have a question? Okay. I saw you over there listening. What made you come over here and listen? Oh, 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 I seen you walk up. Oh, okay. Yeah, wait, what's your ethnicity? Because it's not a color thing up here, right? It's a bloodline thing. The Israelites is a race. To be a Jew, it's a race. It's not a religion. To France. Oh, okay. What about you? Your is your father Italian? Okay. Give me numbers one and eighteen. Let's get numbers one and eighteen. Let's get some understanding of the of the of the Bible. How do you know who you are or where you come from? Because there's no such thing as mixed, okay? There's no, you are what your father is, okay? He puts the bun in the oven, and guess what? He gets his bun back Ace, when, yeah. you, when you're done cooking that thing. Ace. Okay, that's just the facts of the matter. Right. So let's read Numbers 1 and 18. It's the book of Numbers chapter 1 and verse 18. And they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month, and they declared their pedigree. Pedigree is bloodline. Read on. After their after their families by the house of their father according to the house of their father so whatever your father is that's how that's what you are right. that's where the lord gets rid of all this confusion about oh i the slave master raped me oh this person did this how do i nobody knows who they are today nobody knows just because the slave master raped you don't mean you got pregnant okay he just got what he wanted in three years back in the, in, in the damn pen right that's that's how he felt no, everybody, let's get Romans 9. Let's get Romans chapter 9. Let's get Romans 9. Let's get some understanding out the Bible because God so now you heard us. Now you heard this brother break down that whole John 316 breakdown. But God made more than one world. God made more than one world. Let's get now let's get Romans. Let's listen to the Bible. Now let's see what the Bible says, right? Let's agree with the word of God. Now that's rhetoric. That's rhetoric. What's John 3, what does John 3, 14 say? What does John 3, 14 say? Okay, now that's what Christians do. They find one scripture and then they live their whole life by it and say the hell with the rest of the Bible. God loves the whole world. You, you quote John 3, 16, but you don't know what John 3, 15 says. You don't know what John 3, 14 says. You don't know what John 1 and 1 says. You don't know what John 3 and 1 says, but you want to sit up here and say, John 3, 16. Let's answer your first question about the adoption, right? Let's read about the adoption. Romans chapter 9, verse 1. This is the book of Romans chapter 9, verse 4. Who are... Verse 1. Yeah, give me Romans chapter 9 from the top. No, I want, I want it from verse 1. Yeah, yeah, give me from verse 1. This is Romans chapter 9, verse uh, from the top. I say the truth... In Christ, I lie not. My conscience is also bearing me witness in the Holy Spirit that I have great heaviness and continual sorrow in my heart. Now, this is Paul speaking. This is Paul speaking in Romans to the saints that are in Rome. He's not talking to Romans. He's talking to this. This is a letter written to the church in Rome. It's not written to Romans. That's the first thing we got to understand when we're reading the Bible. And textual integrity. Biblical integrity, right? We don't want to abuse the text, right? Hold on. Let's read. Hold on. Yeah, you can listen, right? Go ahead. Verse 3. For I could wish that myself were a curse from Christ for my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh. Who are Israelites? Because Paul was an Israelite of the tribe of Benjamin, right? Read on. To whom pertaineth the adoption pertaineth means belongs. So the adoption belongs to who? The Israelites. To whom pertaineth the what? The Israelites. Oh, 
uh, who, uh, reverse, start from verse four, verse four. Who are Israelites to whom pertaineth the adoption? To whom pertaineth the adoption? Look. That's what you said, it was for yours. Hold on. Okay, but it says, who does it pertain to though? I don't care. Hold on, now you're arguing with God. Talk to her. She's arguing with the word of the Lord. It says, who are Israelites to who pertain? Well, let me finish the scripture instead of talking over the Bible. Read on. And you can't be a spiritual race. Let's get that clear right now. Let's not be stupid. You can't be a spiritual race, okay? Just because I follow Buddhism, that don't make me Chinese, okay? I'm still a black man, so-called black man, right? So let's read. Let's finish Romans chapter 9. Let's Hold on. Let's finish Romans chapter 9, verse 4. And the glory, and the glory, the adoption that pertains to the Israelites, and the glory pertains to the Israelites, read on, and the covenant, and the covenants with the Nazareth pertains to the Israelites, read on, and the giving of the law, and the law was given to the Israelites, that's why they can sin, and not everyone, right, and the law was given to the Israelites, read on, and the service of God, and the service of God, read on, and the promises, and the promises, <laughs> they all pertain to the Israelites. That's what the Bible says. In Romans, that your beloved New Testament by your beloved Paul and Romans chapter 9 from the top. Who pertain of, who are Israelites to whom pertain of the adoption, the glory, the covenants, the giving of the law, the service of God, and the promises. Oh, now you're going against this scripture right here. Now you're going against this scripture. Because there's no contradictions in the Bible, right? So if what you're saying is true, that means this is wrong. I don't want you to listen to me. You've chosen to listen to me. You, I, you, I, no, I don't. I know, you're, you're not coming out this Bible. You're not coming out this Bible. We believe God, not men and women, right? Well, why you didn't let me read the scripture about Romans 9? Hell no. You know, why can you hear the Holy Spirit? What the hell are you talking about? How many command? Your heart doesn't do nothing but pump blood. That's all your heart does. Hey, let's not be stupid out here. Your heart pumps blood and that's it. That's it. It's an organ that pumps blood. It doesn't feel anything. It doesn't have emotions. It doesn't think. Your heart is an organ, is a tool that the Lord gave you to keep your body alive. That's it. Okay, your brain is what thinks. Your brain is what helps you feel. Your brain does all those things, not your heart. So when y'all come here with all this love, your heart, your heart don't do nothing but pump blood, man. Stop being simple. We're not stupid no more, man. We can read now. Guess what? We can read now. And guess what? We got smartphones, so now nobody has an excuse to be dumb. Nobody has an excuse to be dumb in these last days. Your heart doesn't do nothing but pump blood if you love somebody you got to do something you can't feel something if you love someone you're going to act on that love you're not just going to talk it you're not going to just run your damn mouth that's not what god is about god is about actions show him that you love him show your faith by your works that's how you love god go ahead the book of jeremiah chapter 17 verse 9 the heart is deceitful the heart is deceitful above all things. Well, she says she's hearing the Holy Spirit in her heart. <laughs> Give me John 6 and uh, 63. What, what did you do if I told you I hear the Holy Spirit? First of all, you're a white woman. Talk about you hear the Holy Ghost. <laughs> I know for a fact the Lord is not dealing with you. We just read he's the Lord our God and none else. We read in that all throughout the Bible. Why we believe you? That's a deceiver in our midst. Right? Go ahead. You got something? What did I ask for? Yeah, go ahead. Bring what you got. Up. It's the book of Acts, chapter 2, verse 21. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call the name of the Lord shall be saved. Uh oh, there you go. Whosoever. Hold on. This is your beloved scripture. Whosoever. That means anybody in the planet Earth. Whosoever. Even if you didn't hear it, it applies to you, huh? Even if you didn't hear this declaration, it applies to you, huh? That's simple. That's stupid to think like that. Read on. Verse 22. Ye men of Israel. Hold on. Who's he talking to? Ye men of Israel. Who is he talking to? Ye men of Israel. So whosoever of ye men of Israel. Read on. 
hear these words. 